All right, so in this episode, first and foremost, let us, let's head into our dashboard page here. And one of the issues we had in here is that this page name for the dashboard page is not the best one to use because this will give an error in our application. So let's go ahead and use the correct route. So the way we can find routes like this is using PHP Amazon route list and it will be filament.admin the pages and if we then go here you can see there's a themes one and there's a dashboard one so all we have to do is just copy that ahead and add this in here which will then go ahead and fix any issue you may have encountered using our application here and after we've done this we should just be able to head into wire content slash admin and in here you can now see that we can essentially, in this case, go ahead and sort by the different filters here. For example, 24 hours and 7 days. This should fix any problems you have here. So in terms of the menu builder, there is one other thing we also want to make sure of in here. We want to essentially have custom fields because we want to have is locked in as a field. And as a starter, let's go into our application here in the admin panel provider let's close this one down here and in here we just need to add in a menu field and all we want to add in here is just this array of tuckle here which is going to be is locked in that we may as well just use the example provided in here because that's all we need for this. So let's go ahead and create a migration for this now. So we want to say PHP Azure make migration, add is locked in. And in this case, we're adding this to the filament menu table here. So just say. Go ahead and copy and paste this migration. Just like that. And make sure we have this semicolon here as well. Perfect. So let's go ahead and migrate this now. And we're getting an issue here because we're having an issue with our migrations inside database, migrations. And in here, we want to get rid of the double pulse table we created. We created two of them by setting up the pulse plugin. So with that sorted, let's head back in now. And let's say, there we go. It actually is able to save us. If I click save, it does preset it. But now we obviously want this to be visible for anyone. We don't want this to be not shown in this case. But that's essentially all for this video. In the next video, we're going to start to display these menu items in the navigation bar and start customizing it a bit more. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.